Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sure you enjoyed that video from Wajay, best thing. And who is going to be my best thing? Eh? Who's going to ask me to be their best thing? 40 minus 32 is what? Huh? 40 minus 32. That's 8? There's 8 years difference between them. Yeah, that's quite a lot. She's 40 and he's 32. 32. That's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. If it was 20 not, and yeah, she was 40, exactly. then yeah, maybe it would be a big deal. We were having this conversation with a friend yesterday, and I remember she was asking me about the age difference, because we have a friend that has been dating a girl for six years mm -hmm. and she's 22 mm -hmm. right now. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, go on. I found that like a bit weird and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was very like, I was vocal about saying, I don't like that. That's like some, yeah, it's sick to me, feeling. whatever. Um, and everyone's like, oh, you have a problem with age. If I'm like, I don't. If you are 25 and mm -hmm. he's 50, I don't even care. As long as the mine, there's no minor involved, involved. and that person and the relationship is... relationship didn't start when she you was a, a You were a child. As, a, as long as you're a grown adult, I feel like you can date another grown adult sure, because sure. maturity isn't um, detected by, by, by age. Mindset mm -hmm. isn't detected by age. So sure. you could have a 50-year-old and a 25-year-old and 25-year-old is a lot more mature and... Um, is the more uh, uh, dominant person in the yeah. relationship. Like, you don't know that. But so to me, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that age. There's number really nothing wrong with it. There's really nothing wrong with it. But man, who is going to ask me to be their best? And that's the bone of contention. Yeah, yeah, why are you okay. taking that away from me it's, now? It's very soon. Because, you know, Valentine's coming soon. Yeah. The girls will start to. You know, they start. To Hi, how have you been like, now? It go down mm. in the DM. It go there. It go down in the DM. Okay, let's move on. All right, so popular reality star Natasha Akide. Ta popularly called Tacha, has encouraged ladies to put in effort into becoming self-financed rather than being dependent on men. According to Tacha, gone are the days when men take full respons responsibilities as the provider of a woman's needs. Guys are getting smart these days and they are not so interested in being the sole provider now. So if you're a broke person, you have a problem to fix. So, so stop complaining about how you guys, how your guys are. Don't be a liability to any man come 2021 good advice what do you think yes i think it's, it's not rocket science oh, i think God, it's self I'm of this conversation honestly. it's self-explanatory a lot every of women I, every time i see this conversation i just think wow nigeria we are so poor because ah, we talk about money so much it's exhausting <laughs> but what else is there to talk about in this world if ah, it's not money I, I, I wish i wish i could show you with my eyes the kind of conversations that happen when when um, the, the society has allowed equal genders, or then, let, me, let me put it this way, the percentage in which male and females are mm. empowered, when they're equally the same, this conversation reduces. It's True. because we are so, already Nigeria is such a poor state. Mm. And on top of that, we are sexist. So we have more women who mm. are poor. Mm. That's why we have this com type, type of conversation. But not to, not to dismiss her completely, She's 100% correct. I think people are beginning to have... I feel, I feel like, first of all, this generation, in the last maybe like five, six, seven years, yeah. the conversation around being a CEO, selling hair, shoe, bag, mm. small chops, do something. Mm. Because we nobody wants to be poor, to be honest. I, mean, I think we've been trying so much to get our government to do something. A lot of... Especially this generation, we kind of put our lives in our own hands and want to do something. Right. And men are doing five, six, seven businesses. Women are not sleeping anymore. True. So I think that that narrative, even of that we're poor, is not even as, as accurate anymore because, yes, we'll not be rich and financially stable, but we're no, not necessarily poor. Like, people basic. are doing Because something. she said something about basics. Like, she mentioned a um, sanitary pod, like a woman wants to get, and you have to ask your man for that. And I'm thinking, in 2020, 2021, that doesn't happen anymore, who exactly. calls a man that I need to get that, or I need to no, get, like, people, the basics? No, but people rely on their, on their partners for everything. They'll have allowance that covers sanitary pad and all of that type of stuff. Believe it or not, in recent times. Oh, wow. But I think the conversation has now been... Because you can see that you, you, you work better and you go further if you and your couple... If, if that couple is powerful, not when one man is... Because mm, if, if both true. of you are have things going for yourselves. Your love is sweeter. You can go further. You can do more things. And I guess that spreads around. And you can so everybody... almost afford anything you bought once. Exactly. Because you can always come together. E exactly. Yeah. So I think everybody now wants that. The girls want that. The girls want a man that can add to their lives and be better. The guys want a woman that can add to theirs and, and be better. So I, I feel like that conversation is really important to have because I'm not going to sit here and pretend like as if no, what she's saying, she doesn't have an audience for that. There's quite a lot yeah. of women yeah. 
that think that. But then again, I don't want to act like as if no men don't love this mindset. Thank you. I was they do. Go there. Nigerian I was men go there. love. I, ha I struggle sometimes with even um, what's it called. You know what they do for him. Exactly. You know that talk of mm -hmm. me. They do. In fact, when they see your wife looking good, they will say, "Ah, well done. Exactly. You're doing a great job." Exactly. Do you, get do you know what how I mean? many like, times I would I, I'll take my friends out. You're about to say Eku no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'll take my friends out. I think you know this person because I will always hang out. I say, okay, do today. You've, uh, this business thing where we've done, you, I'm, I'm really happy for you. In fact, let me take you out. Let me, whatever, whatever. I will get there. I'm the one that's leading everything because I'm the person that invited you out. And I was like, okay, what do you want? I'm t the, the, the waiter can see that I'm kind of like leading this conversation and like I'm more in charge. When the bill comes, it's never, Faces the man. never to me. And I used to, Barra, like, don't you dare give me that bill. I'm the one that's doing it or whatever. And you see that that's where the value comes from. Like, oh my gosh, your fare is so different. And I feel like it's such a shame. Like, there's not that much to me. All I want is to be able to at least do the, the thing. Needful. The, the needful. needful. It's just basic. The, the, the buy is so I wish low. a lot of women can have this mindset because women will wait for you to buy them everything. Matter of fact, you, you, you say you're going somewhere to get stuff, maybe like a, a mall or the supermarket. Mm. And they say, okay, let's go. And they're like, oh, can I tag along with you? Ah, I need to get a few things. And then you get to the counter and they're waiting for you to pay. Mm. Do you understand? Some, but me, sometimes, if I just want you to learn the lesson, I'll just be like, babe, yours is. Mm. Do you understand? The lesson of you had intentions to go get your own stuff, right? So the fact that I said, I'm going there, and you said, tag along with me, then pay for your stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? It's a different case when I say, do you need some things? Yeah. Okay, let's go together. But men too, Nigerian men sometimes, I truly believe, have nothing else to offer other than money to begin with. So they like that. I know people mm. who would vex. That no, what are you saying? No, the Stingy Men Association will be very oh. pissed at this thing you just said. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, no, why are you doing that? Let me pay, let me pay. Because they like the idea that they feel like if they're don't, if they not financially supporting me, in fact, they're not the reason why my finances is even running. Like, they're not the fuel to my finances. Then they... Then what what else can they offer me that I would mm. then be loyal to them? I've heard that kind of speech. And then I hate the fact that the women think that to reciprocate what a man is giving you, it's your body. It's the it's the men. No, now it's let me let me put it this way. I think I've be, I'm beginning to meet a lot of women that are even coming up with business ideas. Like, okay, can we do this? Okay, you have this contact. You have you know these people. I would like to do so x x business with this person, right? That's admirable these days because you if see I a lot of women doing one, that. Forget that one, please. Let me, tell you, let me tell you for a fact. Women like that don't attract the lot. The ones that attract the lot are the ones with the big behind mm. and the big front. No Let's lies. not lie. No the lie. most important thing to a man, Nigerian men, is how you look. And you're not mm. using my look to look at me in all day. You're using my look for the bedroom. So in I'm, the Oza room. In the, in the Oza room. So mm. you, I know what, you're, what you are looking for. I know mm. why you're attracted to me. Uh-uh. We've done this thing too but many do, times. Do you know the sapiosexuals? People that are just attracted to your intelligence. Mm, you know, the way you speak. Being able to be engaged in a conversation. Yes, it could lead to other stuff. But your engagement when we speak also counts. You know, there are a lot of people. Now, I was having a conversation with a colleague this morning. Yeah. When I was just, you know, I was just being my goofy self and everything. And I was saying that, ah, you're saying that there are all the ladies around i was like ah, do you know what it means when you take a trophy wife and the moment she opens her, her mouth right everyone around you you take her out to your friends and then the moment she opens her mouth everybody just gets stunned up they just see you for who you truly are but you take a normal plain jane and the moment she speaks people are even gravitated towards her because they want to learn more from what she's saying like how can you be able to vibe so much in the midst of so many intelligent people do you understand that in itself is a problem because the the impression that oh women are not supposed to be so smart or even so that in itself is a problem. So I think it's about time that the men to stop this old trophy wife thing. Go with somebody that is I'll bringing something on, I'll to I'll blame the table. it on the old boys. It's, they started this thing. When they yeah. brought um, really crazy money into mm -hmm. the society and... It's money driven. It's a money driven world. It's not a Nigerian thing anymore. It's a money driven world everywhere. And they realize that the people who are who are enjoying the benefits of this plenty of money that is not common in Nigeria, and the, the people that, that that have a certain look. What are you preaching? So wow. it, I mean, except you're talking well, about. I mean, I'm not gonna blame the Yahoo boys. I'm not gonna blame anybody. I'm just gonna blame the people that just if you know that you want to be in a relationship, make sure you're going for somebody who is on the same. 
I'm also going and to. And also men that like it. Don't don't get me wrong. I was even going to say that. They I was just want to take your women. I'm also going to put it out there that even if the woman can't, because there's a lot of people who can't, but not that they don't want to, but can't. You, I don't. That doesn't still give you give the man the right to look down on that person because there's a lot of things that women give to men that the money cannot buy, mm, and they cannot as, do for themselves. Such as loyalty, mm, nurturing, mm. keeping your looking at your five and six, the things that you cannot see, looking out for you, and um, leading. You'll be surprised how much women actually lead men in prayers. a lot of things. Prayers, all the type of things that the valuable women that are in your life that you you you, su you um, support financially and they don't either, but they are giving you things that you cannot buy for yourself. So that keep Desha. that in mind. That one, Desha.